Two friends and a chat. Two friends and a chat. Two friends and a chat. You mentioned briefly there, you, you spoke about COVID, uh, the response, the government's response. Uh, how, how would you have responded differently? I know that states, there's a wide variety of how states have uh, responded. I think our neighbors to, the, neighbors to the north there, Iowa, they responded uh, way differently than we did. And, and different countries, too, like as far as Sweden. Sweden keeps getting mentioned as in not doing hardly anything. Uh, so yeah. how, how would you have done it as the, uh, as the I, governor? I like the Swedish model. What they did was they came down and they said, of course, they get bashed for that early on. Um, really hammered hard, but they said we're not we're not going to shut down our economy. We're going to go shut down our businesses. We're not going to pick essential versus non-essential. What they did was they said they talked about hygiene, cleanliness, distancing. Uh, if you're sick, stay home. Uh, get out into parks and walk around, but don't be in large crowds of people and all that. They didn't shut down concerts and all these other you know restaurants and cafes and things like that. And what ended up happening is, or, or what's happening right now, is their numbers are no worse and in many cases better than all the countries that locked down. Mm-hmm. I think if you look at the United States, I think that bears out here. To our south in Arkansas, they didn't lock down. And I believe they are, if they're not at the bottom, they're nearly at the bottom of COVID-19 positive uh, results and deaths. Mm. They're nearly at the bottom for the southeast. And so they didn't lock down. To our north, Iowa did the same thing. North and South Dakota, uh, Nebraska, they didn't lock down. I think Oklahoma had a partial lockdown. Utah, uh, I believe Idaho as well, and Wyoming, they did partial lockdowns. But I, I, I think it's going to bear out. You, if you look at Missouri, we've been locked down for a while now with devastating results to, to our economy. Yeah, and I don't think anybody can argue that it's devastating results to our economy. Over was it four hundred and fifty? Maybe it's five hundred thousand now. Missourians have filed for unemployment. It's just it's devastating, and a lot of these businesses are not going to come back from this. And we did this to prevent the spread of the virus and to prevent deaths and all that. Except during this lockdown, the number of Positive results keeps going up, and the number of deaths keeps inching up. You know, well, we're well over 300 now dead, but that's during the lockdown. In the process, we've injured our economy badly. And as I said uh, the other day, I was on a podcast, and, and I believe this time I was on air the other day on the radio, and I said, this, this bunch up in Jefferson City, the, our elected officials, they've driven our economy right into a ditch. Yeah, and it's it's going to be painful trying to recover from this. Yeah, and the bad part is that it's it's kind of delayed. It's going to be kind of delayed. All the, the negative stuff that's going to happen because of this. And, and, I exactly, mean, you can't shut down. It's all they, a delayed reaction, and yeah. uh, you look at the second quarter GDP oh, and look at the second terrible. quarter. Uh, there's going to be a lot yeah. of sticker shock yeah. in municipalities and these counties out here uh, because of the lost revenue. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a tremendous. Uh, shock factor that's going to happen here in uh, very very soon. Yeah, very, I mean, very soon. they they shut down two weeks of uh, the the I guess first quarter year on calendar first quarter they shut down two weeks and then they shut down a whole month of second quarter. It's going to that's a third of the quarter. That's it's going to be a massive massive issue. <laughs> is when these it's going to be terrible. And it was it, I don't think it's necessary. That's my opinion. Maybe it bears it out. It just makes me laugh when I hear. Government officials say, look what it would have been had we not locked things down. Yeah. And that's a hypothetical situation. We don't know what would have happened if we hadn't locked it down. I think Sweden kind of proves that you get Sweden and Norway side by side, although Sweden is a, is a larger country population wise than Norway. Norway completely locked their country down. Sweden said, no, we're not going to do that. And per capita, the numbers are equal. Yeah. So, who was wrong? Who was right? I, I don't know. In the future, we'll we'll know for sure. But I do know we've we've uh, the uh, locking down, essentially locking down the country, and essential and locking down Missouri is a self inflicted wound. The virus didn't do this; government did. Yeah, uh, we got a question from our live chat here. Uh, actually, the yeah. same fellow that same fellow that recommended you, Devin Shrum. He he. Uh, he's a good man. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, 
he asked, what would your steps be to reopening if you were in that position? You were in the governor's position right now. What would the steps be to reopen? Would it be all like all at once? I'm kind of adding on to what he asked there, but would it be all at once or would it be in steps or, or what would your approach be? Well, first of all, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have locked things down, but being that we're in a lockdown, uh, to open it back up, I would open it back up. I wouldn't do a, this phased approach. This phased approach, what I, what I hear, I saw on news the other day, they were talking about, uh, national news, they were talking about Missouri's governor declares state safe to open. And, uh, and, and I thought, well, that's a little bit not correct. If you, if you look at it, uh, it, it were, he declares it safe to open. The, his speeches up here, it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like, well, we're going to use a phased approach just to be safe. And I think it's just increasing that damage on the economy. And uh, I know they're saying, oh, well, all these shops can be open and these restaurants and bars. We're going to open them up, but with these conditions placed on the business owners. Yeah. And then local areas such as Boone County, Columbia, my understanding is they've extended theirs and actually made it more stringent. Really? And people up in Boone County, they're they're squealing like stuck pigs right now. Yeah, a I, lot of them. So, I can imagine. Uh, let's just we've injured the economy. Let's just let's just injure it a little bit more on the way out of this thing. Um, I know the phase one is supposed to go to the end of May, so I'm going to assume here that there's a phase two. That's going to take place in June. I don't know how long that's going to be in June, but if uh, I'm hearing different things like there may be three or four phases to this, and if we go through the summer phasing things in and out, I think it just hurts the economy just that much more. Sure, I totally agree. The uh, I live in uh, Kansas City through the week, and and that's the same thing they're doing. They're they're closing down they're going to stay closed down until the 15th of may and then they're going to start phasing it in and like right. they can't have so many people they can't go full capacity in the restaurants and they got to be so far apart and all that stuff so. and, and my understanding is the mayor in kansas city that uh, lucas guy mm -hmm. what's up with that they said he he wants contact information for everybody that enters a, a building or a, a business yeah. what is that about yeah, well, you know, big <laughs> you know I don't want to sign in every time I go into a building or a facility <laughs> or a business. Yeah, that just seems sort of Orwellian to me. Oh yeah, yeah. I was getting ready to say, Big Brother, Big Brother. <laughs> Check your papers. Yeah. Check your papers at the door to make sure you're authorized to come in here. Yeah, you that's know, weird. They were. Uh, my job was actually preparing for that. They gave me. They gave me my paperwork just in case I ever got stopped on the road to prove that I was. Are you a kidding me? No, I've got it. I've still got it in papers, my vehicle. Papers, please. Yeah. Papers, please. Yeah, yeah they they <laughs> gave gosh. us uh they gave us two pieces of paper that proved we were we worked for the company and they gave us an ID. They they hurried up and gave yeah. everybody an ID to prove that's like that uh, that's like the old Soviet Union trying to go from one place <laughs> to another. Let's look at your papers to yeah. <laughs> see if you're authorized to go to this train station. So, yeah. wow. Well, yeah, my my job did the same thing as well. You know. I travel Crazy. from uh, county to county for my job, and they gave me a uh, paper to keep in the glove box in case I got pulled over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they can, if they can do this about a virus, uh, I just wonder how free people really are. Who's yeah. in charge? Yeah. And uh, one of the things that disturbs me the most, I didn't realize, and now I know, and I think most Missourians know now, that the politicians aren't locking things down. It's the uh, county health departments. Oh yeah. And there's a. There's a Missouri statute that allows for uh, health uh, emergencies or health concerns or for public safety health reasons. The uh, county uh, health departments can actually do the lockdowns locally in the counties and cities and things like that. Yeah. Uh, that's amazing to me. Those are unelected officials who are saying, you and you and you can't go to work, and you and you have to close your doors until we tell you to, to open your business back up. And there's there's little or no accountability. They These people are unelected. You can't, you can't bounce them out the next election if you don't like what they do. And the politicians are standing there going, well, well we trust the health professionals that their opinions are. And they're just kind of going along like a bobber on the water. <laughs> and uh, do whatever their uh, 
their little overlords in the county health department say. Yeah, that's it, bizarre to me. And another thing here with me, the, what I'm what I'm going through my head continuously is that this seems to be of no real big deal how how uh, how deadly it is and everything, but everybody's being so compliant with uh, what they're being told to do. So if something does come that's just slightly more dangerous and people that they do people they know might start getting sick and everything how much more compliant and more eager will they be to hand over the, this uh the the control of their lives over to the government in the name of safety that's that's what's most worrisome to me from all this it is worrisome it's very worrisome and uh, somebody was talking to me about uh, public edu- education the other day the schools of course they've closed down the public schools and the private schools are closed down and all these schools are closed down and uh they tell us, uh, they tell us, well, we've got to close them down. So it sort of tells me that education's not essential. Is that what I'm hearing? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we'll teach, you can teach them at home or whatnot, but I, it's a mess. We're told we have to have public schools and we have to have education, but at the first sign of a virus, we shut them down. Yeah. So, it seems, um, it seems that we can educate them without the big brick and mortar buildings that we can just do it all online. It seems at this point. I wonder, I, I said this to my wife, I made the comment that I wonder how many people will consider homeschooling after this entire situation goes away. And I heard somebody on the radio, and I can't confirm this, their numbers or anything, but they said about 3% of Missouri's kids are uh, are currently homeschooled, and they think it may go 5 to 8% or higher after this. Yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised. Uh, but the if actual it, percentage if it is going to yet. jump up because people are educating their kids at home and they see they can do it. All right.